kids! I am Teacher Mean. Welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video lesson, we are going to discuss about direct proportion. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng direct proportion? In direct proportion, when one quantity increases, the other quantity increases at the same rate. For example, we have quantity A and then the quantity B. As quantity A increases, also the other quantity B increases. So let's have the first example. Jack and Jill sell newspapers on weekends to earn extra money. For every three newspapers that Jack sells, Jill sells five. If Jack sold 15 newspapers, how many did Jill sell? What are the two quantities that being compared in this problem? We have the number of newspapers did Jack sell and the number of newspapers did Jill sell. If we are going to analyze the given problem, kung si Jack daw ay nakabenta ng 3 newspapers at si Jill ay nakabenta naman ng 5 newspapers at kung si Jack ay nakabenta ng 15 newspapers, ilan naman ang nabenta ni Jill na newspapers? Habang tumataas yung nabebenta ni Jack na newspaper, syempre tataas din yung number yung bilang ng newspapers na nabebenta ni Jill. So that would be direct proportion. So how are we going to solve for a direct proportion? Let us rewrite 3 is to 5 in a fraction form para mas madali nating ma-solve. So we have 3 over 5 is equal to 15 over n or 15 is to n using the cross product 3 times n and 15 times 5 we have 75 after that multiplying both sides by one third so that would be 3n over 3 and then 75 over 3 so we have now 3 divided by 3 is equal to n and then, 75 divided by 3 is equal to 25. So, therefore, ang nabenta ni Jill na newspapers ay 25. Again, in a direct proportion, if one quantity increases, the other quantity also increases. Another example. A motorist travels 275 kilometers in 5 hours. How far can he travel in 9 hours at the same speed? Okay? So, what are the two quantities being compared in this problem? We have the distance traveled by the motorist and the number of hours. So, if we are going to analyze the given problem, we have kilometers to hours. That would be our ratio. So, we have now 275 in 5 hours. So, ngayon, gaano daw kahaba ang matatravel ng motorist kung siya ay maglalakbay in 9 hours? Habang tumataas yung number of hours that the motorist travel, syempre, tataas din yung distance travel in kilometers. So, 275 over 5, or 275 is to 5, is equal to x over 9, or x is to 9. So, x here will be the kilometers travel by the motorist in 9 hours. So, let us now solve for the value of x. Gamit yung cross product or cross multiplication. So, let us now multiply 275 and 9. So, that will give us 2,475 and multiply x times 5 and that would be 5x. So, multiplying both sides, 5x and 2,475 by 1 fifth or dividing both sides by 5. So, 5 divided by 5 will be x 
and then 2,475 divided by 5 will give us 495. So therefore, a motorist can travel 495 kilometers in 9 hours. So again, in a direct proportion, if one quantity increases, also the other quantity increases. Let's have another example. There are three teachers to 125 pupils during the school program. How many teachers were there if there were 2,500 pupils? Ano po yung dalawang quantities that being compared in this problem? We have the number of teachers and the number of pupils. Base sa problem, kung meron daw 3 teachers, merong 125 pupils. Let n be the number of teachers kung meron namang 2,500 pupils. So, kung i-analyze natin yung table, 125 pupils, tumaas siya ng 2,500. So, syempre, habang tumataas yung bilang ng pupils, tataas din yung number of teachers. So, that would be direct proportion. 3 is to 125 or 3 over 125 is equal to N is to 2,500 or in a fraction form, we have N over 2,500. So, now, let us use cross product or cross multiplication. So, 3 times 2,500, we have 7,500. And then, N times 125, we have 125 n multiplying both sides by 1 over 125 or dividing both sides by 125 so 125 di divided by 125 that will give us n and 7500 divided by 125 that will be 60 so therefore there are 60 teachers if there are 2,500 pupils.